Hello, good evening, everyone. Welcome to our Tuesday night science and technology, Dr. Zoom. My name is Dr. Stacy Holweger. I'm so excited you decided to join us this evening. If you're a guest, welcome. Thank the person that invited you. You are going to get an education tonight about LifeWaves technology. If you're a brand partner, you are gonna get even more of an education than you've ever had before. I have a special guest this evening. I am interviewing Dr. Michelle Southwick. She has studied molecular biology and biochemistry before completing her doctorate in pharmacology from the University of Michigan. She's been in traditional medicine as an infectious disease clinical pharmacist and disease state manager for more than 20 years, but she's been practicing functional health and natural wellness for more than half of her career. You can find her on social media as the drug-free pharmacist. Now, I want to let you know that Dr. Cashel is not your doctor. I am not your doctor. So the information that she and I both are gonna be sharing with you this evening is for informational purposes only. If you have questions about your health, about the medicines you're on, even though she's a pharmacist, if you have questions about the medicines you're on, please go back to your doctor or your healthcare practitioner or your pharmacist um, to be able to get the information that you need in regards to your health. The information tonight is not intended to treat, prevent, cure, or diagnose anything that's going on with you. So I wanted to kind of give you, thank you, David, for putting that disclaimer in the chat as well. I wanted to give you a little rundown of what's going to happen this evening. So Dr. Michelle is going to share with you her experience with LifeWave, what she has, uh, you know, before even LifeWave, her background, like who she is, what she's done, and how she was introduced to LifeWave, how it's impacted not only her life, but also her family's life and people in her immediate, you know, sphere here that she's been working with. I know she's in, in helped hundreds and hundreds of people personally become, you know, users of this technology. And so she's going to screen share. We're going to screen share in a little bit. She's got a some great pictures to share with you. Um, so if you need to send any last minute texts, I know we're reaching 500 people on here right now, but get the people that on here that you can to, to really listen and, and hear and see all the wonderful information. And then at the end, we're going to do a Q&A. You guys know how I like to allow you to put your questions in the chat. Remember, you're going to keep it to symptoms things you're experiencing that you want to get rid of or that you want to improve upon. And so Dr. Cashel is not going to be, you know, of course, giving you any medical advice or talking about any diseases, but we will be answering some questions to be able to help you out along your journey with LifeWave. So Dr. Cashel, take it away. We're so excited to hear from you this evening. Well, thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here. I remember I got started in LifeWave almost exactly a year ago, and one of the first things I did was plug into your videos, and so this is a real treat for me tonight, so thank you for inviting me on. Oh, you're very welcome. So, um, well, let's see. I, um, I am big on my focus and my belief is that the root cause of all disease is cells that are not functioning. And so in my pharmacy, I have told people for years and years that I have a lot of band-aids and medications. Most of the medications, actually pretty much everything except for an antibiotic, do things to cover up or mask the root cause of disease. So one of the reasons that I love our LifeWave products is because we are, we are affecting our bodies and our physiological functions at the cellular level. And so if you can improve the health of your cells, you can improve the health of your entire system. So that is my approach to, you know, anything that ails you in, in, in the approach to health. And, um, and so my journey with LifeWave begins um, really on kind of just a freak accident. My daughter um, experienced a, a skull fracture and a brain hemorrhage and in a desperate mom attempt um, to, to address the root cause of that problem, um, we tried all sorts of things. We did hyperbaric oxygen, we did nootropics, we did neural feedback and brain tap. And you know, even just resting oxygen at home, we did everything we could to help her heal from her brain injury. Um, most of her dysfunction was in her vestibular system. So she suffered with 
Um, her eyes um, didn't move properly together. They didn't focus properly. She wasn't able to read lines on a book. Um, she had balance issues. She had memory issues, a very classic uh, post-concussion syndrome. Um, lots of headaches, fatigue, um, oftentimes like just she was awake. She just, you know, very withdrawn. Her personality had changed. She had terrible insomnia. My 11 year old was like a toddler in my bed every single night. And, um, and so my friend uh, reached out to me and she said, Hey, I think you should check these products out. And uh, I'm seeing them heal my daughter's brain. And I was like, yeah, mm. right. <laughs> sure. And, uh, and, and so she sent me something, you know, in I think a video and I, I didn't watch it. And then she sent me another video and I don't think I watched that one either. And uh, I think it was probably about the fifth video that she sent me. She said, look, this is just five minutes long. Just watch this one. And I thought, okay, fine. I'll watch this video. And, um, sure enough, I was like, okay, um, it's phototherapy. Like that can't be, that can't be harmful. Um, that certainly is worth trying. And so I kind of embarked on a research journey. I'm a researchaholic by nature. Mm -hmm. Um, I can't even buy a new iPhone without researching. I know I'm going to buy the new iPhone, but I just can't until I know the SARS rating and the, and the camera megapixels and all of those things. So, um, I, I dive into LifeWave, learn as much as I possibly can, probably waited well, probably a couple people too too long. I sure wish I was a little, I was their upline instead of me being their downline. But um, I uh, I jump in and um, thought, well, I'm not going to experiment on my child. I'm going to put them on myself first. And I thought, what harm could this silly little sticker do? But I put it on myself, and uh, the third day, um, I put it on the point of pain. At looking back, I think I slept so good that I didn't turn. I had scoliosis. And I slept like a rotisserie chicken <laughs> and um, I would turn all night long. And um, I think I slept so good that I woke up and I was a cripple in the morning. And so I put my X39 and my Eon patch right on the point of pain. And about maybe 30 minutes, maybe 20 minutes later, I was walking out to feed my horses. I'm like, wow, like, do I feel something? And I thought, oh, sure, I'm losing my mind. And, um, and that really um, was, you know, an epiphany like that really, I would have, I would have told you last April that my back pain went away, that it was, it was like the third day. And I was like, oh my gosh, I put those patches on and my back pain felt that much better. Now I'm a year into it almost, it'll be, I think April 4th was when I first placed my order. But um, I'm almost a year into it. I can lift an 80 pound bag of horse feed off the ground with no repercussions. So now I really, truly feel like my back pain um, has healed. I feel like my, my scoliosis is, 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 you know, definitely, well, I'm looking forward to my before and after pictures, but um, I feel like it's definitely improved, um, if not completely gone. Um, so, so that week, my deal with myself was I was going to wear the patches for one week. And at the end of the week, um, I told my husband, I said, hey, kind of embarrassed to say this, but I'm going to wear this little sticker on my back because I didn't realize how bad my back hurt. And he thought I was pretty ridiculous, to be truthful. And um, so we, you know, husbands, that's how they are. And um, so I put the patch on my daughter Monday morning. Um, I continued to wear the patches. And the very first night she slept through the night. And that was a big deal. And and one of the reasons why it was a big deal is because my husband was like, cover the kid with stickers. I If she stays in her own bed, I am thrilled. Like, go ahead and sticker that child up. So, um, so that really was our start. Um, it took about two weeks um, of patching with X39 and Eon, and we noted, noticed a huge change in Elena's personality. Mm. She started waking back up. The lights came back on. The blinds were open, and she just... Um, blossomed in front of us um, to the point she does a funny little dance with my husband and she was dancing in our kitchen and it was like, wow. So um, that was amazing. Um, I think I forgot to tell you, she, she her teacher had asked um, if we would consider her repeating sixth grade because she was failing sixth grade. And I have tall children and I thought, oh, that's not a good idea. And um, <laughs> by two months, so she started about the middle of April um, by the end of May, at the end of that semester, she had gone from, you know, 50% 
on her tests to 95%, 97%, and I think a 94% on her three like core subjects. So just a dramatic improvement. Um, you know, God made our bodies to heal themselves. And so, you know, given the right tools, you know, your body is going to heal. And so we finally found what her body needed and she just, you know, just came back to us. She didn't have any trouble reading. She hasn't had any memory problems. She can jump on the trampoline. Um, she doesn't get headaches. Um, all of her post-concussion syndrome is completely gone. Um, we patched sporadically through the summer. Um, and then we patched more consistently again when she went back to school mm -hmm. um, for about maybe a month or two. And I like to tell people like that's the beauties of the patches is that, you know, we're looking at your cells healing and repairing and replacing, regenerating, not necessarily like it is when you take a blood pressure pill and you put a bandaid on something, right? So you take your blood pressure pill, it lowers your blood pressure when that get, gets absorbed into your system. And tomorrow when that blood pressure pill wears off, well, your blood pressure is going to go right back to where it was, right? Mm -hmm. the, the patches work different. So because they're heal, you know, helping your body heal at a cellular level, they're working at the cells, then you're, it's like putting a cast on your broken leg. You put a cast on, you wear the cast for however long that takes, maybe three months, four months, six months, maybe a year, you take the cast off and you're left with a perfectly healthy repaired bone. So I like to remind people like, hey, our focus is healing the cells that are damaged. Um, when you stop wearing the patches, you're not going to go back to where you started. You just stop, depending on your age and your and the amount of you know health in your system. Um, that's you might start going back to your normal for your age, but you're not going to go back to the normal you were when you started patching. So that's you know one really important thing with the patches. Um, my daughter, she now she wears patches. In fact, all three of my kids wear patches now, but it's more um, for you know acute conditions. So you know, my, my son's a baseball player. When his arm hurts, he wants to wear an Eon and X, X49, maybe an X39 on his shoulder. Um, my daughter, she she loves the, the patches. She loves the elevator for sleep. Um, uh, we, we, my daughter, my other daughter, uh, my little one, she loves the Eon patch. She still wears that often. Um, every once in a while she'll, you know, if somebody has a cold, we would pull out a glutathione or something like yeah. that. But all of my kids wear the patches. Uh, my son's 18. He's a senior in high school mm -hmm. and I have a 15 year old and, and then Elena is now 13. So, um, so yeah, so for my story and what I want to talk about mostly today is, um, before I was, before you do, oh, go before ahead. you do, yes. I've got a couple of questions here that have come okay. in. So your daughter had this head injury, right? This trauma. How long yes. did she deal with that? Did the whole family deal with that before you started patching again? Yeah. So her injury was September 20th of 2022. Okay. And we started patching about middle of April, 2023. So about six months of basically a toddler not able to function at home or in school. Yeah. She, I mean, you know, she, she functioned, um, she was still functioning. We, but, she missed a semester of school, yeah. um, but we did kind of force her <laughs> to go back in January. Um, okay. and she was doing okay. Um, she was failing of course, and she was coming home exhausted and had a headache. Um, when I say not function, I, guess I mean, I, not function as her normal 11 year old baseline. That's right. Yeah, she She's definitely not was at not her, back baseline, to her baseline for her 11 year old self. Six months later, the patches enter. She starts patching. You patch her X39 Eon. And right. that time frame was two months by the end of that right. school year. And she's like back to her baseline, back to her baseline. Yeah. And I should I should tell the happy ending to the story so far is that you know, she has kept all A's. So, you know, she went from failing, she needs to repeat sixth grade to the teacher's like, okay, fine, you can pass her, but you should probably should keep her out of the honors classes. We go to a charter school and uh, it's pretty rigorous comparatively to, you know, academically rigorous. So she's like, you know, I just want to put her in all honors classes. Well, apparently the school didn't get that note. They put her in all honors classes. We go to meet the teacher. She's like, well, all my friends are in my classes. I don't want to move. So she has kept all A's 
um, the entire year so far, um, you know, all three quarters, she's had all A's in all honors classes in seventh grade. She went out for the cheer team. She went out for, she's in dance. Um, they moved her up in the dance level. Um, we ride horses. She rides horses. Oh, well, that's super significant because her vestibular system, which is like your balance system, was severely damaged after the hemorrhage. So she could not, if you, she closed her eyes, she'd tip right over. So, you know, that was after the accident. So um, just a dramatic improvement for us. I mean, when my friend shared the patches with me, she, I, she said, oh, are you interested in doing this as a business? I said, oh, no. Oh no, I, I have a job. I'm perfectly happy. I make really good money. I, I have no desire to do this as a business. And she said, okay, well, you just wait. You're going to get a miracle and you're not going to be able to help yourself from sharing it. And here I am. So and you're like, okay, wow. Yeah. Wow. That's absolutely incredible. I mean, I'm just floored at how quickly she progressed, you know, how yeah. quickly just two months. And then here she is now a year later. Yep. And things are still going well almost a year later. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. I consider it completely fully recovered. Wow. That's yeah. incredible. What a blessing. What a huge blessing. blessing. Yes. Huge blessing. Okay. So thank you. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I just want to make sure okay. we had all the clarity there because I know people were asking little bits and pieces and that's really yeah. powerful. Okay. So let's yes. jump into you and your okay. journey with yeah. this. Would you so, like to um, so I, um, yeah, so I, um, my baseline, I guess was, you know, I thought I was perfectly healthy. In fact, I told the person who signed me up, like, oh no, I don't need anything. I'm perfect. Um, and as you're going to see here in just a second, um, maybe I wasn't as perfect as I thought I was. So, um, I had plantar fasciitis. I think I told you I had scoliosis. So my, I had low back pain. I'd lived with low back pain forever. Um, in fact, to the point that I didn't know that that wasn't normal anymore. Um, I used to go to the chiropractor, you know, month years ago, I used to go like once a, you know, once a quarter. And then I was once a month and that was once a week. And, and this time last year I had four chiropractors because if, if I was hurting and I needed to get in, like I, I was unfaithful to my chiropractor and I would go call another one if I couldn't get in that same, that same day or that same week. So, um, so say pretty my back pain, you know, really was affecting my normal activities of life. Um, I, uh, I had also, as you're going to see, um, some thyroid issues and my thyroid and my metabolism had slowed down and I felt, and I looked really puffy and unhealthy. And, um, despite my best efforts at staying in shape and working out, in fact, I probably, I probably worked out more than I do now but you sure won't be able to tell. Um, and um, um, my, the numbers on the scale just kept going up. And in April of last year, I was 168 pounds. Um, I saw the um, special that David um, did on, you might remember we got a free SP6 if you bought an X39 and X49. And I am a bargain shopper. And so um, I took advantage of that special. Um, and so I bought that and I thought, well, what the heck? I'll try it for, for a month. Mm -hmm. And um, so if you want to bring up yes. those pictures, I will be happy. I'm slightly embarrassed, but I will be happy to show you kind of where I started. So the top, um, right yeah, that is the before pictures. Oops, that's the after. Yeah, there you go. So you can see in my face just how puffy I was. Um, I, you know, I, I look at myself in the mirror and I thought I looked exactly like my mom, but I, mm. I pay money to be blonde and she was a brunette. But, um, but yeah, so this is where I started April. All three of these wow. pictures were taken April of last year. Um, and uh, my first month on SP6, I lost five pounds. Um, and, and then I wanted to show just, um, I guess maybe next, if you want us to the next one, this is, um, this is a progression. So the one on the, on the far left is November of last year and then December and then my current picture. So, um, a little improvement, I would say a um, lot of improvement. Yeah, absolutely. a lot of improvement. What's your, um, so what's your time frame again on months? How many months from? Um, so this, so the first one was about um, April. So this, these, these, all three of these are from April. 
Okay. And then the first picture is from November of last year and then December of last year. And this picture I just put up, that's my profile picture on social media. So you'll remember me, but that one's actually from my cruise last year. But um, so a little different. Um, I feel a million times better. And I am um, very excited to tell you um, all how you can get the results like these two. So um, of about, I have about 400 LifeWave clients and I have dozens who have lost weight. And so I want to just share a couple of things that I found to be really successful. So I'm a big data person. And um, if you don't know on your back office, there is a resources tab. And at the very bottom, there is a section with studies. And I I know studies aren't super fun for everyone to read, but um, it's really important to know where we came from and where we get the information that we all are telling people about. So I just wanted to start with, with this study. Um, essentially, this study tells us that um, using specific acupressure points, stomach 36 and spleen point six has significant um, effects on our central organs. So, um, this study used um, an electro interstitial scan and they scanned um, several organs, um, your, your hypothalamus, your pancreas, liver, intestines, kidney, thyroid, and adrenal glands. So essentially that's your entire endocrine system um, plus a few friends. Um, and what they did is in one week, um, they tested the change in the physiological function of those cells. And they found very significant improvements in just one week. And that was wearing the patch for 12 hours a day. Um, and that was from their baseline with a statistical power of 89%, which is fabulous, especially given the small sample size of the study. Mm -hmm. So I think that's really important. What I think is even more important is kind of reading between the lines on this. And um, this study and the next study both use two specific acupressure points. And if you notice, if you've ever purchased um, your, your, you know, patches and you get that little booklet, there's a little picture in there of where to put the patches. And um, if you've ever plugged in and gone a little deeper, each of those pictures have a uh, acupressure point associated with them. So uh, this is a second study. This is this dual site intervention um, that evaluated this SP6 complete. That was a product that we used to have that had a, a, a weight loss shake and I think some supplements associated with it as well. But um, I wanted to point this study out because with this, um, with this study, the SP6 package um, produced positive, positive results in both the ST36 and the SP6 acupressure point with approximately five pounds of weight loss in four weeks and a waist reduction of more than an inch and a half. Um, there was a 20% improvement of efficacy um, or a better, basically better results mm -hmm. in patients that started with a two-day fast compared to the individuals who did not start with a two-day fast. So um, um, I just think that that is really cool. Um, I'm a big evidence-based medicine person, I used yeah. to write guidelines for the hospitals and um, based on evidence-based medicine and make sure that everybody got the standard of care or better in our hospital. And I think it's really important to know, um, you know, how we did the studies, where we put the patches. And I would tell you that, you know, SP6 was named after an acupressure point. So to me, it just makes perfect sense that spleen point six is a really important place to put the patch. So if you've ever um, been on my team or you've ever listened to me talk about SP6, you'll hear me harp over and over again on how to find spleen point six. So um, if you go forward one more slide, I think there's a picture. Um, yeah, so there is spleen point six. Ignore the day one, day two. Um, but uh, spleen point six is four fingers from the top of your inside ankle bone. And, um, it's about, it's about three inches, basically it's on the tibia bone and acupressure points. And, and I'm no acupuncture or acupressurist, but acu, a good friend of mine who does patches is, and she told me that acupressure points are always slightly tender. So if you are on the right spot, it's going to be slightly tender. And, um, 
this picture, actually, now that I'm looking at it, is the right foot. It's not supposed to be, this spleen point six is on both feet, but SP6, the patch that we use, is only for the left side of the body. So we only use SP6 patches on the left spleen point six point. So inside left ankle, four fingers above the, above the inside ankle bone, um, there's a tender spot. Now I will tell you, since I've been using the patches myself for almost a year, that spleen point six is not going to be tender after you've been wearing the patches for a long time. So my recommendation and what I, and what I tell my clients is to find the tender spot. Your body is going to tell you where it needs to focus or where it needs help. And so if, if day one or week one or month one, it's on spleen point six, four fingers above your ankle bone, then put it there. But if it goes a little higher or maybe a little lower, then just put it on the tender spot. That's what I tell everyone to do. So um, stomach 36 is also another important place. I like spleen point six better, but stomach 36 is four fingers below your kneecap. And it's one thumb to the outside. So if you reach down and you feel where the head of the muscle, when you pull your toes up, that is where um, stomach 36 is. It's just kind of where the muscle and the bone meet. So just slightly on the um, outside of the, of the shin bone, about four fingers below your kneecap. All right, you can go to the next slide. Um, and I just wanted to point out that, you know, spleen point six um, or the SP6 patch um, is not a magic potion. It's not a magic pill. It, it's not going to do all the work for you. It is going to help make your hypothalamus work better. It's going to improve the, you know, the, the leptin, um, the hormone regulation of your hunger. It's going to reduce cravings. It's going to, um, you know, improve your, your, your endocrine function or your adrenal glands, your liver, your kidney, um, your pancreas, which is, you know, involved in like insulin production. So SP6 is an amazing, powerful tool. It's not the only thing. It's not, it's not a magic potion. You're going to have to do a little bit of work. Um, and, and that means that when it, re it reduces your appetite, well, you're going to have to not eat all of the terrible things that maybe you want to eat. If your goal is to lose weight, well, you, you have to, you have to burn what you're putting in. So if you're eating 3000 calories and you're only burning 1500 a day, well, you're going to, your body is going to store those extra calories as fat. And, and so as, as much as I love SP6 and I do love SP6, it's not going to do everything. It's going to help a lot. It's going to lower your cravings. It's going to lower your appetite. And it's going to give you the willpower, certainly the willpower that I never had um, before SP6 to eat less or eat more responsibly and hopefully to, to not eat the things that you shouldn't be eating, like sugar and, and all the packet, all the food that comes in a bag or a box. Um, so try to eat fresh foods, healthy foods. I know Dr. Stacy talks about this a lot, but the foods that you choose are really, really important to fuel your body. Um, and then I just love that quote that. Um, that the doctors of the future um, will, you know, will focus treating disease or, oops, it's Sorry. of course hidden behind my little view here, but the doctors of the future will no longer treat the human frame with drugs, but will rather cure and prevent disease with nutrition. So um, I just, I love that. I think it's super important what we fuel our bodies with. Um, you know, if you want to lose weight, SP6 is going to give you the willpower. Um, it's going to reduce your cravings. It's going to help all of your organs function properly um, or function better. Um, I like to talk about it doing, you know, having a, a, an amazing effect on the endocrine system. I think I mentioned I had some thyroid issues. Um, my three patches that I wore um, very consistently, uh, uh, really up until the last month um, or two months, maybe, um, is with X39, Eon, and SP6. Those are the three that I never went without. Um, SP6, I've worn on SP6, spleen point six, every single day, plus or minus. I, I find the tender spot every day. Um, X39, I wear on my low back, and Aeon, I usually wear on my low, like kind of hip area. Um, I'm a big put the patches where the problem is. So if your problem is somewhere, I like to put the patch right on that problem. Um, wherever that is, whether it's a bum knee, um, for my daughter, I used um, just the back of the neck. Um, 
and she slept with Aeon on her forehead. Um, but wherever the problem is, I think putting the patches near that problem is a good is a good thing. If you don't, if you have too many problems to count, or you want just um, you know an all over effect, I think the best places are the back of the neck, um, and and I think very potent place for Aeon is below the belly button. So those are my kind of favorites. Um, you know, they're going to work no matter where you put them. So don't get too hung up on where things have to go. Um, will you go to the next slide? Mm -hmm. Okay. I wanted to talk just for a second because this is what I've done the last month. Um, there's a couple of a couple of just helpful hints. If your goal is to get in shape for summer, then then you know, number one, you have to make that decision. You have to make a series of healthy decisions from now until then, um, every single day. Um, some of the things that we can do with the patches to help support those decisions is we can we can wear our patches. We can we can um, use SP6 to lower our cravings and help our organs function better. Um, this X49 patch and X39, as you as you probably have seen this slide before, I, I yanked it from another presentation. Um, but it helps a lot. It's going to increase your body fat um, burning. Um, it's going to increase muscle mass. It's going to increase your stamina. It's going to help you recover from those workouts. Um, this is an amazing combo. And, um, if it is in your budget, um, this is, this is the, this is, you know, the ideal situation, you know, being a pharmacist, I know that the rave right now or all the rage is these, you know, injectable peptides and, um, boy, oh boy, I cannot discourage you from using those highly enough. Um, it is not worth it. They cause, not only do they cause, um, you know, the C word, but they, you know, that's a black box warning in those things, but it also causes gastro or your, or your intestinal paralysis. So there are dozens of people. In fact, if you watch TV at all, you've probably seen some of the ads for class action lawsuits already starting. So do not be tempted by any of those injectable weight loss medications. Um, stay away from that. This is I would challenge and say this is a way better option. Um, not all that much more expensive. It's probably actually less expensive and a much healthier side effect free way to lose weight. So X49, um, X39, Eon, SP6. And if you really want extra credit, you know, you're uh, maybe you're going to Cancun with us in two weeks. Um, <laughs> the energy enhancer. You know, you, you, if you haven't, if you haven't seen anything about the energy enhancer, the energy enhancer patch also, um, you know, you burn three to 600 calories, 300 more at days at rest after you work out, you, you know, you may burn, you can, you can put that down for a second. Um, you might burn 600 calories after a workout. Um, if, you know, if you've ever participated in any kind of a weight loss, um, um, you know, program before, if you can cut 500 calories you're losing, you know, five pounds in a month. So the S, the X, I'm sorry, the energy enhancer all by itself really could help you lose five pounds in a month. Um, like we saw in the study, SP6, typical of what I typically see is about a pound a week. Um, and, and then if you don't lose a pound a week, then I recommend doing a detox. And so we'll do a few days of either the tummy buster where you do a triangle around the belly button or, um, or you can do just glutathione. Um, I tend to use glutathione below the belly button um, for a little detox. Um, that usually kicks people back into weight loss. Um, you can go to that next slide. Um, so this is, you know, just kind of a plan. So, you know, you can use the SP6. Um, you need to reduce your calories. Um, you know, what goes in has to, has to be burned off or you're gonna gain and not lose. Um, you know, try to cut down on excess sugar, improve your nutrition. I would say one of the root causes of almost every disease that I can think of is excess inflammation. Um, I think the EM patch is amazing for fighting inflammation. Um, sugar is a direct cause of inflammation. So, you know, cutting down on sugar, eating healthy, um, you know, staying hydrated. Of course, we know that. Um, you know, burning calories through through whatever kind of workout you're comfortable with. Um, interval training is really the most important. Um, rather, you know, if you're going to go out, try to vary your heart rate. You know, maybe you maybe walk very quickly for 30 seconds or a minute, and then you rest. 
you're looking for that variation in heart rate, that's an interval or an interval training situation um, that actually stimulates your body to make good cholesterol. It increases your, your, your calorie burn. Um, it's just an amazing way. You know, if you're not going to go out and do hardcore weights and hardcore aerobics, just go out and, and vary your walking speed, you know, do something. I, li I like to tell people, you know, use it or lose it. So if you don't use your muscles and you don't use, you know, um, your, your abilities to lift weights and to lift your body weight, to get it up and down off the ground, um, all of those things are directly associated with, you know, one, your length of life to your quality of life and three, what you're going to be able to do next month or next year. So um, use it or lose it. Use those muscles. Um, let's see what the next one is. I think it was just a little bit of encouragement. Um, just be consistent. This is not just one healthy decision. This is every decision has to be healthy. So every time you are preparing a meal or choosing choosing your activities, every decision matters. So try to be consistent. Um, and then just that the, there's no giant step. It's This is a series of little steps. So um, that's, that's all I really had prepared for you. I know you probably have a million questions. Um, mm -hmm. And so I hope we have a little bit of time and mm -hmm. Dr. Stacey and I can answer them. We do. Absolutely. And if you want to follow Dr. Cashel, you can see her on Instagram or TikTok and her email address is on there as well too. Just remember that you are not to message her and ask her to diagnose you or to make any claims of what would treat or cure your issues, remember? Uh, so keep that in mind, okay? So thank you so far for that thorough information that you shared, not only of your daughter, but yourself. And of course, that presentation on SP6 was fantastic. We do have I don't know, hundreds of questions in here, uh, but we have 20 minutes. So I'm going to ask you some questions if that's okay with you and kind of let you, you know, give your take or opinion on that, if that works for you. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So let's start with something basic. You touched on this in one of your last slides about proper hydration. Talk to me about water and why water is really important. Obviously, we know it's important in the body in general, but why with this technology is it vital that we are staying hydrated? And what does that look like? Yeah. So, so our bodies are made up of 70% water. So in order for your cells to function properly, they have to be hydrated. Your cytoplasm, the inside of your cells has to be filled with water. It does not fill up with Starbucks or energy mm -hmm. drinks or soda pop. So um, you have to be hydrated. You know, the recommended minimum is half of your body weight in ounces. So if you're hundred pounds, that's 50 ounces a day. I constantly have my Stanley and I have a 40 ounce Stanley and I drink probably eight of them a day. Um, and because I drink so much water, um, I add electrolytes to it. So um, one of the things that you can do is add electrolytes to your water, um, you know, uh, a Celtic sea salt is great, um, but even better is the new, um, you know, new powder that's coming out. Um, so that is going to be fabulous to add to our water. So um, really, um, I'm really, really looking forward to that. But, you know, when you drink a lot of water, you're going to need some electrolytes. So you know, you're going to flush all those toxins out. That's, you know, one of the things that's a lot, oftentimes a barrier to weight loss is we store toxins in our fat cells. Mm -hmm. And so your body wants to hide those and it doesn't want to deal with those toxins. So if you're not well hydrated where you're flushing those, those toxins out, then your body's not going to release them from your fat cells and, and you're not going to release fat cells either. Yeah. Wonderful. Perfect explanation. So people are asking questions about gut health. Uh, with their immune system, with their digestive system, you know, things that they're experiencing from lack of gut health. Now, obviously, you had your SP6 in your presentation, and you talked about that for weight loss and boosting metabolism and whatnot. But I'm sure reading those studies, you saw the implications of SP6 on the intestines. So what would you recommend to people that are dealing with any kind of condition where their gut is not functioning correctly? 
Yeah. So, um, so again, we're, we're talking about cells that aren't functioning properly. So, um, you know, improving the function of those cells with our patches like SP6, or really, I love carnosine for, so for your solid organs. Um, I've had really good success with, um, a lot of digestive issues using the carnosine patch just below the rib cage, kind of in that tender area, um, mm -hmm. below your sternum. Um, and then Eon and, and glutathione, kind of in a straight line, um, mm -hmm. spaced out by about maybe, I don't know, two or three fingers. Um, um, but I think the other thing that's really important, not only, you know, improving the cellular function with our patches, but um, also a really good probiotic. You know, our American diets are pretty terrible. And um, and so we have to we have to take in a probiotic. We should be eating more fermented foods and um, you know, really helping your, you know, there's a big gut brain access, you know, they talk about your second brain being in your gut. And yeah. if you don't have good bacteria in your gut, you're just, it, it's a cycle that you're never going to come out on top of. So a good probiotic is, mm -hmm. um, and maybe a fulvic acid or humic acid supplement, but probiotics would be my number one and a good one, not just any one off the drugstore shelf. You want to get a really good probiotic. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So some of the questions and you guys keep this in mind, some of the things that you're asking, you know, she's addressed during her presentation as well too, but let's talk a little bit about the heart. Okay. So let's move up from the gut to the heart. If someone has different types of issues or symptoms in their cardiovascular system, what would you think would be, uh, you know, based on our studies, what would be good patches that benefit that cardiovascular system? Yeah. So the X49, of course, is an alanine based AHK copper peptide. And that is found primarily in your cardiovascular and smooth muscle and regular muscle cells and your brain. So if you have vasculature issues or heart issues and you want to support those cells, then, um, then the, the X49 um, is going to be probably the number one um, patch that I would recommend. Um, I never recommend that to stand alone. I think it's really, really important, you know, to use it with the X39. Um, you know, the X39 is a is is the GHK copper peptide, and that can that can you know impact any cell in the body. So. Um, it's not specific just to muscle. It could be bone, it could be liver, it could be brain. Um, it can be any of those cells. So I always think that X39 is your foundation. And then, and then whatever else you add on is in addition to X39. Mm -hmm. So, you know, another thing with the heart, um, and especially if you've ever had blood work done, you've probably seen where they measure things like your CRP and your cortisol, um, and your fibrinogen and these inflammatory markers. Um, and so you know, if you're in a state of inflammation, you know, your cardiovascular system is at risk. You know, we've been treating cholesterol in this country for 25 years, and we've continually lowered the standards, lowered the goals for total cholesterol and an LDL or an HDL. And we have not impacted heart disease at all. And, and I would argue based on the studies that I've read is that because we're not, we're not addressing the root cause, which is inflammation. Um, and, and so, you know, I love the Aon patch or Eon patch for inflammation. It's clinically proven to lower your CRP, to lower your fibrinogen, to, to lower your cortisol. And, and that's not just in your cardiovascular system. That's your whole, your whole body. Um, you know, that's everywhere. You know, we talked about a little bit having plantar fasciitis, right? fasciitis, it says it in its name, right? It's itis, which is inflammation. You know, mm -hmm. it's inflammation of, of the tendons in your feet, right? And, you know, when I started using the X39 and the Eon, that was one of the things, and you've probably heard people say this before, like, I didn't even realize it went away. Like, it was one of those things where I was walking across the rocks in my gravel parking lot, you know, to get out to my horse barn. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm walking in flip-flops. Like, this used to cause a lot of pain. And I was like, I wonder when that went away. So, you know, when you, you know, I was not using the Eon patch for my feet. Um, although I did in Vegas when I wore some shoes that I probably shouldn't have worn. <laughs> so my feet were hurting and I put the Eon patch on there, but you know, for the most part, I was using the Eon for my back and I was placing it on my, you know, on my right loin, my back hip area. And, and here it was working on the bottoms of my feet that whole time. So, you know, I love the Eon patch. I love being able to lower that inflammation. I think it is, um, almost foolish to not start with X39 and Eon. 
um, just, I tell everyone that, um, you know, get yourself a silver package, put one X39 in it, put four E on, and then auto ship the X39. You get, that gives you four months to lower your inflammatory markers. Sometimes if you want to do three months and then throw in like an SP6 or something, sometimes I'll say, oh, well, why don't you pick one? We'll do three months of, of E on and then pick one other thing to, to try for the first, first package. And then auto ship that X39 and you will be shocked. Um, I, you know, I think I mentioned I've had 400 clients, more than 400 clients, and I have not had one person who's been like, Kashel, this does not work. Mm -hmm. um, nobody says it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. They notice something. You're going to notice something. So, mm -hmm. you know, um, those are my two favorites for sure. I agree with you. I call that the dynamic duo, X39 and Eon got yes. to reduce the inflammation and everyone understands their inflammatory markers. If they're in pain, they have inflammation. If you have a diagnosis, you have inflammation. Like we all know these things. And so to have something, and we know that diet is key. Sugar causes inflammation, as you mentioned. Bringing those inflammatory markers down with your diet is very important. But what is your doctor recommending? Pills, right? Prescription yeah. medications. Yeah side effects that are very long on those bags, right? You staple the receipt to the bag and the bag has all the <laughs> side effects on the staple. It's all right there. We've all seen that. And where is that with our Eon? Zero. Yep. Yeah, there's, there's no side effects. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, how many times, I can't even count, how many times I would see someone come in, you know, with back pain and they're like, oh, well, I'm here to get my steroids. And, and lower my inflammation. And I'm like, yep, um, <laughs> yep, you are. And guess what? You'll probably be back in two weeks because you're going to be real sad when these run out because you haven't changed anything about your lifestyle. And you're going to be right back here as soon as these pills run out. I mean, it's good for pharmacy business, um, but not good for you. No, so I always say pharmacy not to or your immune system. Your immune oh system. my gosh. That's my biggest pet peeve. Come in for, you know, a cough or a cold and they're like, oh, well, I have my steroids here to help me get better. I'm like, no, that does not help you get better. This is going to suppress your immune system, not stimulate your immune system. So it's, it's really, it's hard. You know, we want to, we want to help everybody and we understand they're doing what they know to be true. They're doing the best they can. But we're here to educate people, to teach and to train them and share this information with them and say, hey, there's an alternative with zero side effects, zero contraindications, very affordable, very accessible and mind blowing. And like you said, everyone gets results. If you'll stay with this, you will see changes and it changes over time. It's no different than if we go to the gym and do a workout, you can't work out once or twice a week and be like, where's the change, you know, or eat one or two healthy meals and go, where's the change? It is that right. consistency. And the patches are the same way. It's a tool in your toolbox that helps assist your healthy lifestyle and diet choices that you make. So let's go up a little bit farther. Let's go up a little right. bit farther from the heart and let's talk about the brain. Now, obviously we heard you talk quite a bit in depth with your daughter with X39 and Eon. So people are asking a little bit more specific in things that, you know, they would experience neurological or maybe someone else in their family would experience and have different kinds of neurological symptoms. Not necessarily what you were experiencing with your daughter, but what else would you suggest or, you know, based on our studies, again, what would you think you've read in the studies about the brain? What patches would benefit? Well, I, I absolutely love the brain mapping study. I think um, Dr. Don and you talked about it extensively, but um, you know, when you can improve the coherence or the function from, you know, in connection from one side of the brain to the other, you know, there are so many things that that in itself is going to improve. Um, you know, some of the things that I've seen are, you know, um, people who, who can't articulate and they can't speak properly, even, even maybe, you know, they struggle with, um, you know, school um, and focus, you know, when you start improving the coherence of the brain, those focus and those um, articulation problems just start resolving all on their own. Um, people who are, who are suffering from, you know, low mood, um, you start improving the function of the brain. Again, the root cause, is us is cells that are functioning properly, right? So, you know, 
there's so many things that impact your brain. You know, it doesn't just come in a tablet, right? Like even as you know, like when you are drinking soda or artificial sweeteners like phenylalanine and that, you know, diet soda or good heavens, don't even get me started on like energy drinks. You know, those are specifically formulated with chemicals that cross the blood brain barrier. They are targeting your brain intentionally so that tomorrow your brain says, I need another one of those. Mm -hmm. You know, believe it or not, back in 2010, I used to drink a ton of Diet Coke. And let me tell you, giving up Diet Coke was one of the hardest things that I've done. I had terrible headaches, even though I changed from Diet Coke to regular Coke. Like it wasn't a caffeine withdrawal. It was the artificial sweetener withdrawal. So, you know, if that's you, I, I just, I beg you, um, give it up. Um, go slow. Cause it's going to, it's going to be terrible, but, uh, <laughs> but give that up. Those things are specifically targeted to cross your, into your brain and affect your mood, affect your energy level, affect how you feel, how you treat others, you know, your ang anxiety levels. I mean, it's, those things are specifically targeted, intentionally formulated to mm -hmm. do those things and, and to make you want it again tomorrow. So, you know, getting off those things, the patches, um, you, to get back to patches, the carnosine and the Aleveda, um, in addition to, of course, my two favorites, the X39 and Eon, um, are amazing for brain health. So, um, you know, carnosine is fabulous for, for cognition. Aleveda is just an amazing, um, you know, increases epithelium, um, and, and of course, you know, has all these beauty benefits. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know, it's just, it's an amazing patch. If, if you, um, you know, if you can afford, if you can afford to do all of them, man, even if you don't do them every day, you know, just even once in a while is better than nothing. Um, but those two are really powerful patches and, and, you know, definitely we use both of those in with Elena as well. Um, just not consistently enough for me to say, yes, that for sure had this effect. Like I, like I am able to with the X39 the Eon. Yeah. I noticed with my daughter, the carnosine made a huge difference in her brain. She was able to start to communicate um, very, very much more aware, alert, interactive, tracking. Um, the carnosine made the, the biggest change when we added that. We'd been doing X39 Eon, but then it was like, whoa, what's going on yeah. here? When we added that carnosine. We never did the Alavita with her. Um, you know, I've used that myself, of course. Yeah. Uh, it's, you know, huge benefits, like you said, for the brain, but also for, you know, all of your organs. I mean, collagen. Can, your, yeah. Yeah. Such yeah. The carnosine, you know, carnosine is something that almost everyone is deficient in, mm -hmm. you know, so, you know, glutathione is an amazing, is an amazing patch, you know, and, and really something I would argue that everyone should be on just for immune function in itself. Mm -hmm. But, um, everybody is deficient in carnosine. You know, that is one of the amino acids that we just don't get enough of in this country or any other country, frankly. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the carnosine patch is amazing for that. Um, you know, something really that everyone needs. Um, yeah, I know in you know. my my PhD for functional med, one of the books was called Anti-Aging Medicines. And yeah. so I'm thinking, okay, what medicines are we going to be discussing here in functional med? And chapter one was carnosine. That was yeah. the number one anti-aging medicine was carnosine. And I'm like, because I got this PhD uh, about a year and a half ago. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I was in life. You know, I'm like, wow, this is huge. Wow you know, I'd already researched it from David and the information he shared, but then this took it, you know, oh, so much deeper. And I love sharing this little fact, this little tidbit, because I don't think people realize this. Every time your blood sugar spikes, you age. Every time that blood sugar spikes, you are aging. And so when you look at carnosine and how it balances the glycation process, what does that do for the aging process? Yeah. It contributes greatly to that balance of the glycation process that keeps that pancreas and blood sugar in check, but it also protects your telomeres and telomeres yeah. determine the length of your life. I just finished reading the telomere effect the other day and yeah, gotta protect those telomeres. That's huge for your longevity or lack thereof. It's a very powerful patch. And I know you said it, just use it whenever, however you can. 
Um, but I'm a huge proponent of using that one daily. I know the instruction booklet says one to three times. That was written like 20 years ago when David invented it for the athletes, la, la, la. That pad should be used every day. We should have our carnosine, our own carnosine level elevated for so many reasons, neurological, cardiovascular, organ, right? Especially the pancreas and those telomeres. <laughs> so yes. if somebody telomere effect, do that, read that book. It's incredible. I have going on an airplane tomorrow. I should. Um, somebody asked the difference between plain carnitine or carnosine and L carnitine. I think they meant carnitine, but the difference in those is just a metabolite. So one is an active metabolite. So, um, you know, your body is going to break it down into those active and inactive metabolites. So it's really, um, really the same. It, it, our carnosine patch covers both. Um, so I wouldn't worry about that. Um, it's exactly the same question but yeah what do you think about glutathione where how how what's your favorite way to use glutathione well that was the last question i was going to ask you and talk to you about was detoxing so i love glutathione huge proponent right the people in the blue zones oldest people on the planet have the highest level of glutathione athletes are very you know well known for utilizing glutathione we know that it's the master detoxer immune booster antioxidant but I'll be honest with you, most people are so toxic in their body. And I did a whole segment, a whole month worth back in January talking about detoxing. If you've never changed the oil in your car, which means if you've never done a cleanse or a fast or a detox, you're full of toxins. You, you can't drive a car without changing the oil every three, what, four or 5,000 miles, whatever. How do you expect your body to function if you're not eliminating toxins on the regular basis? That's why your SP6 study showed so much more, you know, profound results when they did a two-day fast before cleaning out the sludge. So I love glutathione and I, I do, if, I say, if you're healthy and if you're on your detox game, like I am, slap that baby on day one and don't just wear it every single day, right? Keep that glutathione. Yep going through the roof every day. But if you're someone that's not in that situation, which is the majority of people, then I personally recommend going slow. We know X39 elevates glutathione 30%. That in of itself is enough of a start on a detox. If you are having detox reactions such as headache or fatigue, or, you know, you're maybe on the toilet a little bit much, you know, you should be right one to two times a day, at least drink more water, use more electrolytes, keep your body, you know, hydrated and balanced that way, but know that it's better out than in and work your way up to using glutathione once a week, twice a week, three times a week, four times a week. I mean, ideally, again, if you live in a blue zone, they've tested them. Those people are over 100 and their glutathione level is still extremely elevated more so than anyone else on the planet. You That's want right glutathione level high and that's important. So yeah, I would even add to that, like when, you know, when there was a virus circulating around, um, which is, is, is circulating in high numbers again, um, you know, the people who had therapeutic, their therapeutic glutathione and vitamin D levels never got sick and they never had any, any ill effects. So if, if, you know, if you want your immune system on game, the glutathione is amazing. And I would say, and, and I don't have any clinical data to back this up, but from my own personal use of glutathione, I think the most potent place that you can put it is below the belly button. So maybe if you're one of those toxic people that have like, you know, these terrible signs of detox, maybe don't put it there to begin with, you know, and then maybe wear it for shorter amounts of time, you know, just maybe you can only handle it for an hour or two. That was me. I mean, you saw my before pictures. I was not the picture of health. Um, you know, um, I, I wore it just on my chest and I got terrible detox. In fact, I, I think that was like my second, second hour with that patch on. And I was like, I don't get headaches. And I had a killer headache. So, you know, I'm not going to cast any stones. Like detox is real. I think it's a powerful testament to how powerful and how potent the patches are when you get a detox wearing a patch for two hours. I mean, it's just light, it's just phototherapy, right? There's no medication in the patch. So in fact, oftentimes with kids or, or anybody who has a disorder where they don't like things sticking to them, um, you know, you can put the patches on the top of the clothes, on the inside of the clothes, the outside of the clothes, patches doesn't matter, you know, which way faces your skin. Um, they work both. So um, yeah, wear, wear the glutathione, wear the glutathione for shorter amounts of time if you can't take, can't take it. But um, yeah, if you want to stay healthy, um, whether that means living forever or, or not getting 
you know, plagued with any viruses, mm -hmm. then wear your glutathione. Yeah, I totally agree. Well, thank you, Dr. Cashel, so much for taking time out tonight. We had right, uh, right under 700 people on here this evening listening to your interview. It was just fantastic, full of information. So we really appreciate you taking the time to come on here and educate our field on this technology and your experience and how it has helped you and your family. And I know this is going to, of course, that ripple effect help hundreds and thousands and thousands of people. So thank you so much for taking the time to be here. I appreciate it. We enjoyed it. And I'll send you the recording. We'll get that up on the YouTube right away. So thank you. Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Have a great evening.